What is model-based software development? Let's talk about that now. Model-based software development. You know what's funny? It seems like there's a lot of model-based initiatives going around and they all have different definitions. That's a different video though. What we're gonna talk about now is uh, how the software development process is augmented by this new approach. Um, and it's called model-based software development. Some people call it model-based development. Um, it's, it's kind of the same thing. The idea here, I mean, if you think about it, one of the biggest challenges in developing control software uh, for any type, of, any type of system, and actually it could be any other type of functional system, is getting the software to run on the electronic hardware and to get the behavior that you want out of the system when it interacts with a mechanical or electromechanical type of system. Is it exhibiting control that you want uh, and that you defined? So this has been such an issue because uh, typically to get a board prototype or a, to develop a custom integrated circuit is a long lead time. Uh, and many organizations just simply cannot wait that long um, before they can start testing integration to make sure the software, the electronic hardware, and the mechanical stuff actually works all together. So what they do to accelerate it is start plugging in virtual representations of each of those. So the first step is called model in the loop. And the idea here is that you take a UML model or, or a software model of some kind and you connect it to um, a simulation of the mechanical side of your product and you let them interact. So you, you let them, you have different inputs uh, and you test and verify the control and behavior the software model, not the software code, software model exhibits over that physical manifestation of the, of the, uh, of the product and that's a digital simulation initially. Uh, a next step is software in the loop. So this is where you take the soft, software model, the UML model, and you generate compiled code. So you now have cold, code and you plug it into the same simulation. And you verify that you're getting the same type of behavior. The, and, and this typically involves some type of emulator uh, for the electronic system the software is going to be running on. That's another step and you can see how that's an incremental step forward. The step that is next is typically processor in the loop. This is where you get a prototype of your integrated chip. You actually you know, ingrain the software on it, you actually put the software on it, and you let it run, and you hook that up to the same physical uh, digital, sorry, digital simulation of your mechanical system to make sure it exhibits control as you want it to. The last step is hardware in the loop. And this is actually where you hook up um, everything, and sometimes even a software model, to the physical hardware, the mechanical hardware. Uh, and when you can, you hook up the prototype board there as soon as you can as well. So you're, you're incrementally getting closer to the physical configuration of the control system. And this allows people to start verifying behavior uh, and control along the way and not waiting until they have a physical prototype uh, in their hands. That is model-based software development or, or model-based development, depending on how you call it. That's it. Take care. Talk soon.